Okay guys, today I want to show you how you change between the street and the AT wheels on the new Metroboard X electric skateboard. So as you can see, we're set up currently with the street wheels and I'm going to show you how to switch to the AT wheels. Uh, the first thing you may want to do is to get some kind of box that you can put underneath the board. It's, it's just a little bit easier to work on it with the wheels on the air. You can do it on a table with the wheels directly on the table, but it's a little bit easier to have in the air. So if you have a box like roughly the size of the deck, just put it underneath there so the wheels are in there and it'll make it a lot easier. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the handle off. Um, so there's two screws that hold the handle on each end of the, of the board, on the, on the end of the motor bracket. Um, there's two of them, so we're going to go ahead and take an M8 nut driver, which is this tool here, and uh, go ahead and loosen that screw. Okay, and just make sure you don't lose these parts. You can take them out and set them aside for now. I'm only going to work on one side of the board, but obviously the other side is completely symmetric and uh, we'll follow the same basic procedure. The next step is to take out the two transmission cover screws. I'm going to use an M3 Allen for that. So there's two in here. Just go ahead and loosen those. Okay. Once you get them completely loose, They'll probably just stay in place. You don't need to take it out completely and you can just kind of carefully take the transmission cover off. You can leave the screws in there so they don't fall out. Set that aside. Okay. So the next step is to loosen these four screws over here. These four screws clamp the uh, motor uh, in place and also the tensioning mechanism. So we're just gonna go ahead and loosen those just a little bit. Don't, and you're using again the same M8 nut driver for that. Doesn't really matter the order, just loosen them all about one turn from being fully tight. Okay. Okay, so after you loosen these four screws just a little bit by one turn, we're gonna go ahead and put this tensioning screw, which is an accessory you got with a skateboard, into the back of this motor bracket. It's the same hole that the, the handle was previously attached to, and we're gonna now use that same hole to loosen the tension on the belt. Again, it's the same M8 driver. This is a longer screw that you received as part of the accessories for the board. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Make sure you kind of manually thread it as you're first putting it in so you don't strip the threads. And now I'm, I'm touching this piece here and I'm going to start tightening. You're going to see the belt's going to loosen on me. And you just need to loosen it enough so you can get the belt off. But, you know, the more you do it, the easier it'll be. Okay, so now the belt's loose, as you can see. And we are going to go ahead and take the wheel off, which is the next step. Uh, this is a 17 millimeter nut driver, and that's the drive size you need to remove the nut on this wheel. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, at a certain point you can just use your hand to take the nut off. Now with the street wheels, there's actually a, an adapter here that fills in some extra space. So this is like a little spacer that goes in between the wheel and the nut, so go ahead and take that off. We're not going to use this with the street with the AT wheels. It's only for the street wheels, but we need it for the street wheels. Okay, so go ahead and pull the wheel off. You can see both. In this case, the pulley came off with the wheel, but sometimes they might come off separately. But you can just pull them both off. Set those aside, and we're also going to take the belt off. Okay, we're going to use a different size belt for the AT wheels. Okay, so now we have the street wheel removed and the first step we're going to have to do is take the new belt, which is for the AT wheels, and cut it, kind of just slide it roughly in place over here, it doesn't need to be exact. Uh, then you grab the AT wheel pulley and slide that on the shaft. Okay, and then finally grab the AT wheel itself. Uh, again, make sure the valve is pointing outward as you're inserting it. Just rotate till it lines up perfectly. And we take our nut. This, in this case, we're not putting the spacer back on. Leave this off. That's only for the street wheel. You can manually tighten it to get going. And then go ahead and tighten this. You basically want to tighten it to the point where you get it all the way tight. Don't overdo it. And then when you feel it hitting a hard stop, go ahead and back it out maybe about a half turn or so. And then you kind of push the belt to the side here a little bit and just make sure it spins freely, but there's no slop. Okay. So now we're gonna 
wrap this belt around the pulley, the big pulley, and then also slide it around the small pulley, okay? And the next step is basically to release the tension uh, back onto the belt. So the springs are at compressed right now. We're gonna go ahead and loosen the screw and you'll see the belt will start getting tighter. And at a certain point, it just comes completely loose because there's no more tension on the screw. You can pull this out completely. Okay. And you want to kind of spin the wheel of place a little bit just to get the belt to align with the pulley um, and it'll find its natural position. And now we're going to hold on to this little piece right here and go ahead and just tighten the four screws. It doesn't really matter the order, but I usually like to work on the inner ones first. Okay, just tighten it with a nut driver. Just don't go too tight, just enough to make it snug, but you don't want to strip anything. So just, you know, as, as strong as your arm can tighten it, basically. Okay, so now we have the AT wheel in place. The last thing we need to put on is the transmission cover. It has, does have a different transmission cover for the AT wheels, as you can see here. The screws also are different. They're a little bit different length, so you don't want to use the street ones when you're putting it back on. And these screws are gonna go in these threaded holes right here. Just line it up over here. Again, the same three millimeter Allen. Get them both lined up and then go ahead and snug them down. There's a split lock washer, so make sure that's still there in between the screw and the transmission cover. And there you go, we put the uh, AT tire in place of the street tire. So you can see it's a really simple procedure. I uh, don't need any fancy tools. Um, and again, the last thing you'd wanna do is to put the, the uh, um, handle back in place. Uh, and you can go ahead and do that with this other screw. So let's go ahead and put that on. And I usually manually put the thread in place just to make sure I don't strip anything. And once I know it's in, I go ahead and go to the tool. The handle, you want to kind of start with the, it kind of inverted like this. And then when it gets close, we're going to end up flipping it around to make sure it's nice and tight. Um, so I just can use the nut driver. And as I get kind of close to being done, I kind of flip it around like this. It makes it more snug and just kind of angle the nut driver in there. And there you go. It's as simple as that. That's the basic process of going from street to AT. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the front wheels, which are the non-drive wheels. Okay, so we just showed you guys how to change the rear drive wheel on the Metroboard X from street to AT. And now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing with the front wheel. Of course, it's much simpler because there's no drive mechanism. Again, take your 17 millimeter nut driver again and go ahead and loosen the screw. All right, and then once it's loose, you can just take it off with your hand. Set that aside. Again, you got the same adapter that we had in the rear wheel. Make sure you set that aside as well. And again, we're not gonna be using that with the AT wheel. Slide the wheel off and grab your AT wheel. And again, make sure the valve is pointing outward. Go ahead and slide it on the shaft. Again, not using the spacer with the AT wheel. Put the nut on, manually get it on initially. And then you can go ahead and use your nut driver again. And once you feel a hard stop like that, just go ahead and stop and back it out about a half turn. Make sure the wheel can spin freely and you're good to go. And you can see it's really quite simple to switch between street and AT and from AT back to street. Um, and we have more tutorials to come showing you the other many easy features to use on the Metroboard X. Like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos.